What I hold in my hands is none other than the legend itself. Something so powerful, something so unbelievable, but yet something I know you've looked at considering you know, buying for yourself. But when you saw that price tag, made you run for the hills. This camera is f***ing expensive. This is the Mint SLR 670S. Let's dive into it. You know the type of guy that was a jock in high school but ended up becoming a huge nerd? You know, someone that's not afraid to make a fool of themselves on the internet. And someone that likes to shoot Polaroid a little too much. Did I say huge nerd? You know, just an ordinary, everyday guy. Well, that's me. I'm just another Chris. Welcome in today's video. I'm your host, the guy that was talking about himself in the intro that's probably too long. Okay, let's just get this out of the way first. This camera right here is really f***ing expensive. How much exactly? A bone chilling $880. Ouch. And no, Mint did not send me this to review. I tried, they wouldn't. Ouch. Now the biggest question is, is this worth it? Is it worth the price tag? Well, that's what the question I wanna find out in today's video. What does this camera do exactly? I mean, it looks like an ordinary SX70 camera, and well, that's, you know, kind of true. It's an original SX70 camera, but Mint has refurbished it to shoot 600 film, which is pretty cool. But where the real magic happens is with this guy from what they call the time machine. The best part to this is you won't need a flux capacitor to make it work. To make it work, not even a single battery is needed. All you have to do is plug it in to the top of your camera and you will unlock full manual control over your shutter. Pretty cool. You have control over the shutter speeds and they range from half a second to one two hundredth of a second. Worth noting, however, to make this wizardry magic work, the camera's aperture is fixed at f8. And not only do you have control over the shutter speeds, you do actually have a bulb option on the dial, which grants you access to longer exposures. The way this works is when you press the button to take a picture, the shutter stays open as long as you're holding down the button. And it closes when you release it. Pro tip, use a shutter remote on a sturdy tripod for this feature to work at its best. You'll get less blurry pictures, trust me. <laughs> now it also has a T mode. And what's T? Well, it's basically like bulb mode, but you don't have to hold the shutter button down. You just press it once and release it. It'll stay open for as long as you want until you press the button again. This is super awesome. It's such a good feature. You can get some wild and crazy long exposures with this. It also has uh, two slots in here uh, for A100 and A600. This is for different film speeds, AKA SX70 film and 600 film. But these will be treated as auto mode, so you don't actually have to worry about the settings. However, you can still use this camera without the time machine plugged in with 600 film inside, but only 600 film uh, without needing this plugged in. It still works without it, which is pretty cool. In your pocket, shoot 600 film, pretty rad. Lastly, this guy has an off mode, <laughs> which is pretty self-explanatory, but it doesn't just turn off the time machine, it actually turns the camera off so you don't accidentally take a picture, which is actually a neat little touch. So, who is this camera for? Well, it's probably pretty obvious, but it's for the professional. And even then, for the price that you're you know, paying for this camera, you could go buy a semi-pro entry-level DSLR or mirrorless camera. So it almost moves it into its own category. It's more of a niche. So if you like to shoot Polaroid and want to take it as serious as you can, then this is the camera for you. I guess that's who it's for. If you're looking for an SLR Polaroid camera that shoots 600 film, there's only two options really that Polaroid made, and that is the 680 and the 690. They're pretty expensive. However, they're a little bit less expensive than this guy, so that might be a better option. However, it's not manually controlled. I'll talk a little bit more about this and a bonus option for you that is a little bit cheaper a bit later, so stay tuned on that. But with this camera, let's, um, Let's get real for just a second. Um, the setting isn't the greatest. Hang on, hang tight, hang tight. 
All right, real talk. Um, I've been using this camera for a little over a month now, and I've probably shot eight to 10 packs of film through it. And I found myself using just the auto modes. Uh, just use it for 600 film. Yeah, it's super fun to set the shutter and get some super unreal photos that you normally wouldn't be able to get, you know, with a Polaroid camera. But for me, I mean, I love shooting some photography, not for the perfect shot, because that's what makes these photos so great to me, the imperfections. Instant photography is tangible moments. You can literally hold that moment in your hand seconds after taking the picture. So you know that time that you and your friend went to Legoland and wanted to go to the Lego store and it was just, he was super excited? Well, that photo was there along with you. I know, it's kind of deep. So I guess what I'm trying to say is the moments matter more than the settings. The settings take away from what you're trying to do. That's what instant photography is all about, in my opinion, anyway. So if you're after that perfect, crispy, beautiful photo, maybe just pull out your phone and print it out with the Polaroid Lab. All right, so those are just my thoughts on this camera. Is it cool? Absolutely. freaking lutely This is freaking awesome. Having control over your Polaroid pictures is a really neat thing, but for me, you know, I've not really been using it for that. So that is why I'm gonna be selling this camera. Now, going to the thing I was teasing a little bit earlier, there is another option to 600 film SLR cameras. There's two options. One, you can buy one of these. Well, this looks just like a regular old SLR at Sonar SX70 camera. This one has been converted to shoot 600 film and it has autofocus, which is really cool, but you don't have manual control over the shutter. Like I was saying earlier, this is more fitting for me and it's a heck of a lot cheaper. You may have seen this camera before. This is the camera that I picked up in that bundle deal. That was in the video on how to get free film. This is actually from that deal. And I paid $300 for all that stuff. You can actually pick one of these up solo for probably 200 to $300, somewhere in that range, maybe even less, depending. Uh, so that is an option if you're just looking for auto mode. Now, there is another option that you can do. That is sending in a camera you already have to be converted. There's several people out there and companies that you can do this with. But I believe Mint actually offers that service. You can send them your camera and they'll convert it. I don't know the price, but there are other companies that you can do this with. And that one of them is Retrospect. You can send in your SLR camera and they will convert it for you. I want to say it's like 80 bucks. That is a really good freaking cool thing. And I'm actually going to be sending in one of my cameras to have it done. But if you want to spend the, you know, nearly a thousand dollars and get full manual control over your camera, then I, you know, go with the mint. I'll leave some links in the description below to send you over to the, the right places. Hopefully it was helpful in any way. And if you enjoyed it, maybe consider subscribing. I really appreciate it. I got a lot more fun videos on the way and a lot of other videos on the channel, just like this one. Plus, if you're interested, I got a member section and a Patreon page, plus a lot of behind the scenes creating my documentary uh, and other cool tips and tricks, hacks, and I'm just gonna start implementing tangible items. Yes, photos and cool things that you can actually get in your mitts. So if you're interested, there's a link in the description below. And I'll see you in the next video. Now, get out there, make some art.